Good afternoon. I'm Charles Jenkins. Welcome to Christ Church and our offering for Holy Wednesday. Before we get started, I call your attention to the rest of Holy Week and the services we are offering. Please check our, our website for a wide array of those offerings. Let us pray. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, gave his body to be whipped and his face to be spit upon. Give us grace to accept joyfully the sufferings of the present time confident of the glory that shall be revealed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. At supper with his friends, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the, in the dish. So when he dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, Buy what you need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving a piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Here ends the lesson. pray you graciously to hold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ is willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners, and to suffer death upon the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. 